Hey, Cindy and Kate. Um, I just wanted to show you how it's learning um, rather than a web tool might be able to provide you um, with what you will need for your students to share collaboratively um, as they are recording their notes. So I'm here in the planner and um, I'm just in a fake course and I just made um, a unit and I titled my lesson here um, based on the email that you sent. And what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to add a resource and the resource that I'm going to add is a Word document. And once the word I select the Word document, I'll just call this collaborative list. And I'm, I'm going to spell collaborative correctly and I'm going to say OK. And um, it takes sometimes a second for Word to load. So actually what I'm going to do is I'm just going to close it and my, doc, my document is here. So I'm going to open it over again and hopefully it will open this time. All right. So here I am. And notice that I'm just in the view of my online Word document. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in and I'm going to edit. So if they're taking notes, you can set the table up however you want to set it up. But maybe I have, you know, um, several columns and several rows for them to, you know, put in their notes um, about how they helped or hurt. So maybe here I have helped. And then here I have hurt. And then I could number these boxes so that the students like by group or if you just want it free flowing that, you know, the kids as they're writing can continue to add um, as as you wish. Um, so notice that it's saved instantly because we're working that online view. Now, as it stands right now, all the students will be able to do is to view this chart. So what you want is for the students to be able to take their notes here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come up to um, this little ellipsis here. And I'm going to go to permissions. And when I go to permissions, I can select not only who can view the element, but who can edit the element as well. So when I select that, um, you'll have your groups based on your reading students or your social studies students. And you would be able to select the particular class. Um, I don't have students scheduled to me, so I have some fake students. Well, they're not really fake, but I have some students in here that if I give them the permissions to they can and I'm gonna so I'm gonna select the ones that I want. I'm gonna say add. So now permissions have been given to these people to be contributors to my Word document. And I'm gonna save. And so now you can see that those permissions have been granted. So that when those students access that particular Word document, they would be able to edit and collaborate within that Word document. So um, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back to my planner. And the other thing that I've done is I've already created um, a page for my lesson. So maybe I had some other stuff that went along with my lesson. And what I'm going to do is while I have these sitting here like this, I'm going to right click. I'm going to open this in a new tab. So now it's isolated my Word document. I'm going to go back to its learning. I'm going to open my page. And I've already given a space. So maybe I type some directions for my students um, as you are reading, capture your notes on this cloud. So now what I want to do is I want to highlight this and link and I'm going to grab the URL from my collaborative Word document. So I right clicked and I copied paste it in here and OK and OK and now directly from my lesson page when my students select collaborative document they'll be taken to a collaborative document they'll have the edit feature and they can edit and capture a running list of the information that the students find.